tastes like God's will. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 2, Episode 13, Houses of the Holy. This episode is a memorable one for several reasons of which really are kind of ironic. Mainly the idea that there is a possible angel giving people messages to kill people who are bad or are about to do bad things to redeem themselves as well as to prevent a harmful act from happening. Sam is actually on the fence of thinking that an angel is actually giving people these messages, whereas Dean is a total skeptic. He thinks that angels don't exist. He has a bad past with them, mainly because his mother said that angels were watching over them, yet his mom died. It was the last thing that she said to him, in fact. We have a dynamic going back and forth between the two brothers, having an argument about not only faith, but the idea of an entity of good in a world full of so much evil. And the other part that's really more so memorable now is how they talk about angels, Michael, Raphael, angels in general, and they kind of make them out to be God's warriors. Entities of good, right? Turns out they're all just a bunch of dicks. Michael's a dick. Raphael's a dick. All the angels are basically giant dicks. So much dick, I haven't said dick this much since season seven. That is actually probably the most memorable part about this episode. The dynamic between the two brothers is interesting. The idea that a murdered priest is the actual ghost telling people what to do was kind of cool. It plays out pretty standard, except for the whole, oh, it's not actually an angel thing. And it's a little bit of a lackluster episode until the end when Dean is chasing after the guy that Sam was told to go after. But then the guy gets into a car accident with a pipe going right through him in the car, kind of like something from Final Destination. And then when they meet up, Sam is coming to the point where he realizes that it was just a ghost. So his faith is being completely questioned, whereas Dean says he doesn't know what he saw, possibly God's will. And just the use of Bob Dylan's knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door in the background, these last five minutes make up for the whole episode. So in the end, I'm gonna give this episode a four out of seven. It's a decent-ish episode, but it's not one of the standout ones. It's more so remembered for the idea that we thought angels didn't exist in the show. They didn't think they were gonna come, and if they were, they were entities of good, and it turned out the complete opposite, really. In the last episode, I told you guys to give me your comments about what you thought about this episode, so let's read some off now. Houses of the the Holy is a solid episode that's dark more so in people justifying their actions being God sent. I love Sam pointing out Archangel Michael in Dean's direction like some sort of foreshadowing. I love Sam using the Spongebob placement for seance. The car chase is really slowly paced and the end scene always hits the feels. I didn't like this episode much when I first saw it as I didn't really care about who was gauzing the killing. However, now on rewatches I really do appreciate two things. The boys talking about the steps on the church about their beliefs and their lack thereof and then watching the ending unfold with the separate experiences make them doubt what they fought before and almost flip-flop experiences. It's interesting to see how experience can make you question and maybe even change your point of view. It's harder to watch the older episodes involving God and angels now because of how laughably idiotic and cartoony their story has gotten. But ignoring the latter seasons of Supernatural and pretending that they are a different series altogether, which pretty much is, this episode is a pretty good semi-introduction to angels. Even though it really isn't, yeah, kind of like a change, like it was a cool perspective to see them different from what we were expecting. Like I said, they were kind of just dicks. Also, thank you all for everyone's uh, nice words about Arrow. Actually, it's funny enough though, they her name is actually based off the candy bar, A-E-R-O. But uh, thank you guys again for your nice words. Uh, it's very deeply appreciated. And now the next episode is Born Under a Bad Sign. This is a good one because this is when Sam gets possessed by a demon. That tattoo that almost every single super diehard Supernatural fan went out and got. I almost did. I'm happy I didn't though. That's all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.